down to Schoharie and I see flooded out villages and uh, agricultural areas for miles around. And then you come into Green and Ulster County and it's just as horrific as it is in some of the other, uh, as in some of the other areas of the state. They took me up and you know, just all the trees that were uh, brought up from their roots, knocking down wires, it's, it's incredible. And I think there's a, you know, a couple things that have made this storm different. Uh, one is the massiveness of it. Uh, there are outages everywhere from North Carolina to Maine. Anybody that's seen the film of you know, what's happening to our neighbors in Vermont and Connecticut know how big this is. Um, and the moisture factor of it, that you know, just the trees uprooted, usually it's a wind event or a snow event that causes these outages. But this one, you know, this huge flooding and, and trees uprooted, et cetera. Um, from the Public Service Commission perspective, you know, right now it's the utilities job and they're working very hard to try to restore service to uh, throughout the state. I think we're in you know, what might be described as full restoration mode right now. Um, we're getting to customers every day. We're reducing the numbers every day. Uh, by requirements, the Public Service Commission will be doing an investigation for any outages over 72 hours, which will mean we'll be working with most of the state's utilities at this point in time to uh, determine whether things were done in the proper fashion, whether there's lessons that can be learned for the next time around. Um, but I, again, it's this time around, one thing that's usually relied on to help restore the system is mutual aid. Um, the utilities work very well together in trying to help each other out during times of a trial. This time around, mutual aid meant going to Nebraska and uh, Wisconsin and Michigan. Uh, while I was out on the road today, we saw crews working all over this area, Ulster County from Florida, came all the way up to, to help out. So it's, and everybody needs mutual aid, everybody needs more crews. So that's been a bit of a difficult part of, of this storm that makes it a little different than the rest. So we, right now, working with the utilities, trying to provide anything we can to help them get their job done that they get, need to get done. Later on, we as the Public Service Commission will be examining the practices and the efforts of the utilities to determine if there's were any problems or concerns. Um, but that's a usual course of event. So, at this point, if there's anybody with any questions, I'd be happy to take them. In terms of the mutual aid, uh, do you uh, feel you've been able to get enough uh, of that into the state to do what needs to be done here? Yeah, and uh, fortunately, I think there was a lot of preparation that took place. Unlike some other storms that kind of come on you quickly, one of the, I guess, <laughs> if there's anything good about a hurricane, is that you've got a week to prepare. You can follow the path. Now, nobody knew whether it was going to hit Long Island, New York City, maybe a little east, maybe a little west. Uh, people knew that we were in for it come this week. And so there were actually crews pouring into the area starting, I think, a week ago last Wednesday. They started actually physically starting to move to the northeast. Um, that did help so that there were crews on the ground. You know, this storm couldn't even begin restoration till Monday morning. Outages were occurring throughout the night, Sunday night. Even though the rain stopped on Sunday afternoon, the winds continued through the night and the uprooting of the trees continued through the night. So it was Monday before people could even get out and do restoration. Um, and another problem that developed was inaccessibility of highways. So many roads got washed out that literally it took a while for the utilities to be able to get to find out where the problems were to even begin to assess the damage that starts the process of fixing the system. Do you have any concerns at this point with the response from the utility companies, or do you think that they're doing